princess. Happy Vlogmas Day 10! Day 10! We've got some makeup on today. I have not put makeup on since last Thursday when I filmed. As you guys saw, I braided my hair yesterday and I did it while it was damp. So I let my hair dry all day in those braids. Right before bed, I took them out so that it wasn't too crimpy and crazy. If I leave them in all night, then it looks like, wow, girl, you had braids in your hair. Your hair is like, you know, that kind of look. So I take them out right before bed and then I just sleep with my hair down, not in a hair tie, just with my hair down. And this is what you get afterwards. Now what I'm going to do, I've got this curling wand. This one, can I, have I shared the story about this curling wand? I don't even know. Everyone knows like the broke college phase where the only things you buy are in the clearance section. That is this wand. This was on clearance at Target and it's really weird. It's supposed to give your hair texture, but if you leave your hair on there for too long, it leaves marks. But I've had it since college, it does the trick. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take different pieces of my hair, leave the bottom out, okay, you want the bottom straight? Leave it on there for not too long, cause you don't want, at least the way that I do it, guys, I'm like, you don't wanna do this. This is the way I do my hair. I do not want it totally curled in perfect ringlets. I just wanna grab random chunks of my hair and give it a couple of curls. And you also wanna choose different size chunks. So like this one's really small. I am also going towards my face, so I change up the direction of it. So we want this to look real natural. Go under, grab some pieces down here. I have not done my hair like this in such a long time. I should tell you guys, I am going on a lunch date today with my girl, Stevie. Uh, if you guys watched my YouTube video or if you watched the video on my YouTube channel where I had an accountant come on and we talked about like becoming an LLC, getting a business bank account, taxes, all of that fun stuff. If you guys did not check out that video, I will link to it in the description bar down below because it's so, so freaking good. But she reached out to me and wanted to do lunch. So we're gonna go grab lunch today. I still have no idea where we're going. I need to actually text her and be like, hey, yo girl, what are we doing? I totally just missed that curl. Like that did not stay on long enough to actually do anything. How come my left side looks so much better than my right side? My right side is just really slacking today. And that is the hair. It's seriously so, so easy to do. It is a two-step process because I do braid my hair one day and then the next day I'll curl it, but I love my hair like this. It's one of the easiest ways to do it. And I just, I think it's cute. Also guys, I can see my hair growing back already. <laughs> now I've got 20 minutes. We've got 20 minutes before I've got a vlog going live and I really need to clean. I don't, I don't need to like, it's not that bad, but I've got obviously that person coming tomorrow. Oh wait, I have to give them a call because they ended up calling me late last night and I didn't see it until it was too late. Okay, I need to call pest control back, but they're coming tomorrow and obviously they're gonna do treatment inside my house. So I just wanna like vacuum, make it look decent. It's who I am, I gotta, I gotta do it. Ew, <laughs> this carpet is so, so gross. By the way guys, I have a Dyson and it is seriously the best thing going. One, for it to be cordless, amazing. Two, the, like all the attachments and things, like I can clean anywhere with this. I can put on the smaller attachments and clean my car. It's the absolute freaking best. It works amazing. So if you guys do not have a vacuum, well, I mean, for one, you should have a vacuum, but if you're looking to get a new vacuum, the Dyson. <sighs> Vlogmas day nine just went live. And the amount of you guys that commented on yesterday's video thinking I said escort instead of escort, 
corp, it's fine. It's fine. I need to see, I could use ribbon. So I need to measure Fancy because I told you guys, I wanna get her a new harness for Christmas. The harness she has is nice, but like you guys saw, she doesn't love putting it on. She's totally fine once it's on, once she's like on a walk, whatever, like she's totally fine, but it's like putting it on and then she just stands there for a second like, what the heck did you just put on me? And it might just be because she doesn't like having clothes or things on. But I've been wanting to get her just like a better, nicer harness that might be a little bit more comfortable as well as Fancy is just not the best walker in the world like she's just not and when my brother was here with his puppy they were doing a lot of training with her and i was like wow i should really like retrain fancy how to walk on a leash because she's just not great the reason i'm telling you guys this is because i want to get a new harness and i swear my phone or like the alexas or something they're always listening to me i hadn't even started my search to look for dog harnesses and yesterday i was delivered an ad on instagram for dog harnesses and i was like i swear to goodness like some Something's listening to me here. But I ended up finding a small shop. I think it's called Wild One, but I will show you guys in a second. I found a small shop that I would like to support. The harnesses look good. They actually have three different places where you can attach the leash. So you can attach it in the front, which might help Fancy with her, you know, problem. She's like laying right here, so now I don't want to say it. And then there's also two different spots that you can attach it in the back, which is what she's used to. But I'm really curious to try the front one. So what I need to do, I actually need to measure Fancy to make sure that I get the right size. And I don't have or I used to have, I don't know where it went, but I don't have like a, what I call a sewing measuring tape, you know, like a soft measuring tape that can like bend and move whatever way you want it. So, haha, yes. Yes, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use ribbon and I'm gonna measure her and then measure the length of this. It's the easiest way that I can do it. So let me grab my measuring tape. And then I need to figure out where I need to measure her. I've done this once before when I bought her last harness, but sadly, I don't remember her measurement. So my measuring tape isn't in here. Guys, we used it the other day. Where the heck did I put it? Is it in my office? It might be in my office. What the heck? The heck did I do with it? Catherine, come on, get your life together. I have no idea what the heck I did with my measuring tape. I'm, uh, I don't know where the heck it went. I know I had it in my office and then I thought I put it back, but obviously I didn't put it back. So the next best thing guys, I've got a ruler. Okay though, Muffin, let me see really quickly. Okay, so right there. So about 16, let's measure your chest. Okay, right there. That's a good girl. I'll give you a treat after this. You gotta hold on though. You're gonna get a pretty new harness. We have to decide which color. What color would you like? What do you think? You just want a treat. Okay, let's get you a treat. Come on. You can sit. Good girl. Enjoy. So this is the company that I'm looking at. I was right, Wild One. And they have this harness, which you guys can see. So they got a hook in the front, like I told you guys right there. And then they also have, there's two hooks in the back here. So I'm not gonna do blush. Actually, I need to go to the size guide because I just measured her. I think I'm gonna get her a large because she's at the top end of the chest size here and I would rather her be like in the middle of the chest size. Okay, so I'm gonna end up getting her large, which makes sense because I was looking at the examples here. So for medium size, they have like, this is a 25 pound dog, 35 pound dog, and like Fancy is right at the cusp of 50 pounds and this is on a boxer that's 45 pounds. So based off of Fancy's measurements, she is gonna go with a large, but here are, okay, so I'm not gonna do blush, even though like you guys know I would love to do that. Purple would be really cute. Okay, we could go very basic tan. She obviously has tan coloring, so that could look cute. I don't wanna go black, but then the other option, this is a gray. Gray could look really cute on her too because she's got like white and stuff. Ma'am, what do you think? Gray or tan or purple? But I'm thinking gray or tan. Tan, gray, tan. Gray. You're really not giving me a lot of emotion here. I don't know what one you're choosing. I'm a little worried the tan is going to have like a pink tone to it. I don't know, I wish there were like reviews with photos because I wanna know how true to color this is. Maybe if I check out their Instagram, that's always a great way to go. Like look at this dog. That's kind of like Fancy's coloring with the tan. And also this person's name is Jessica Manning. Just gonna throw that out there. Like, would that look really cute on Fance? Like, imagine that on Fancy. 
you know what? I've really been enjoying just like chatting with you guys and having you guys help me with these things. So tell me down below, do we want gray? Do we want tan? I'm definitely gonna get this. Now I know that she needs a large. And I think it'll be nice. It actually looks like really cushy and comfortable. And then it slides over her neck and then I can do it around the sides. Like it clasps around the sides compared to the one that she has right now. I have to put through each arm and I think that's part of like the process she doesn't like. So let me know, gray, tan, gray, tan, gray. Tan, I don't know. I'm currently waiting for my accountant to give me a call. We have to talk about a couple of things for 2021. And then after that, I've got lunch with Stevie. <laughs> 55 minutes later, I feel like my brain is about to explode. It's going to explode. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta grab my shoes. My hair, I feel like it's just extra frizzy and kind of crazy today. Okay, I need my purse. Ah, purse, phone. Okay, I am going to, I need to run to Kohl's afterwards because I have things to return from Amazon. Well, you guys, welcome to the summit. I don't know where I want to park. I just found it. I still think it's the coolest thing that I know a YouTuber. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you guys. Mallory, I have to respond to you. That was hilarious. I have this one friend from college. Mal, if you're watching this, I love your videos so much. She doesn't text you, she sends videos. And it's it's hilarious and amazing and it just makes my heart so, so freaking happy. God, Mal, you freaking kill me. Mal, it's gone? Let's go. packages to open guys the very first thing that I ended up getting super exciting guys I got plain white which I know I'm going to regret this just because of hold on wait oh no 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 no. okay these are right oh my gosh I was so huh. these are nice like pillow shams for king size pillows to go on my bed I told you guys I wanted to get new throw pillows and stuff there currently there's two Pansy is just like so fascinated with where I have been. Currently there are just two king size pillows that have like normal pillowcases on them and it looks ridiculous. I have no idea why that's being done. So I got two nice white ones and then I wanna get darker throw pillows to go with it. I just have a dog attached to my arm over here. What the, I'm sorry. Bath and Body Works, I like their soap, their foaming hand soap. And I ordered six bottles because it was like six for 24 or something. Tell me why I only got one. What is with me in weird packages recently? I can't. Like, where's my other five? <laughs> I have just no comment. That's amazing. Okay. I actually just ordered this yesterday. It was kind of like an impromptu decision, even though I've been wanting these for a really long time. I got Nest indoor cameras and I... I'm very excited to set these up. Security, top concern. I wanna keep you secure, dog, secure. Ain't no one coming and taking you, heck to the no. But can someone please tell me why? The exciting package that I have coming, I ordered from Best Buy on, I checked today because I almost stopped in the store and I'm thinking if it doesn't get here today or, or not today, tomorrow or the next day, I think I'm gonna go to the store this weekend. Wow, tomorrow's Friday. So I'm probably gonna go to the store this weekend, but I ordered something from Best Buy on the 29th of November, okay? It's almost been two whole weeks. I paid extra for shipping, like I told you guys, so that it would get here on the 2nd of December. It's now the 10th 
it still has not got here. And yesterday I actually ordered these off of Best Buy because they had a sale going on. I saved like 90 bucks or something, which I'll freaking take it because these guys are expensive. But I ordered these yesterday. They were delivered today. Like someone please tell me what's going on. Oh, and the other thing is with these guys, it was free shipping for it to get here tomorrow compared to I paid a decent amount of extra money to get it four days or three days after I ordered it. And it still hasn't gotten here two weeks later. So I may have to go to Best Buy and be like, what the heck is going on? Because I'm a little upset with that. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I gotta go edit it, hang out with my crying dog, finish cleaning up. Like I should clean up those boxes before pest control gets here tomorrow, but yeah. Okay, bye guys.